Hi there, meteorologist Pamela Gardner. We're in the doldrums of summer with the muggy conditions, the damp and drizzly conditions too. That's going to last at least through tomorrow, but then we have multiple rounds of some showers and isolated storms. Lots of dry periods though. Not going to be a complete washout, although today was rather murky with all the humidity and the drizzle and the fog. It does stay sticky all week long, becoming less humid Sunday, but this is pretty typical for August weather. It's just kind of annoying when you don't see some sunshine after a couple of days. Here's a satellite radar imagery, and there is an area of low pressure right over Pennsylvania. It is cut off, and it's not really in a hurry to move out of our area. So in the meantime, we'll see a warm front lift into southern New England, bringing in a chance for more showers and some storms. And then tomorrow, temperatures will slowly go up into the low 80s. That combined with a little bit of sunshine. Here's the hour by hour timing. If you're heading out tonight, you'll want to keep the umbrella with you just in case. Spot shower chances with the best chance for heavy rain to the west and just outside 495 over Boston. Very isolated storm or shower chance and most of these showers will break up in intensity at least overnight but then some spot showers and areas of drizzle to welcome you into Tuesday morning and again a gloomy cloudy start with areas of dense fog especially along the coastline. Tuesday afternoon we'll get some breaks in the clouds especially farther to the south and to the east but to the north and west where the energy is a little bit better, that's where we have the chance for some scattered showers and thunderstorms. Any storm that develops tomorrow could produce some gusty winds, some small hail, and torrential downpours. Not a lot of movement anticipated with any of these storms that develop, so isolated flash flooding is a threat again on Tuesday, primarily across western Massachusetts. High temperatures today stuck in the 70s and upper 60s, but it was so muggy it felt a little bit warmer than that. 74 for the official high in Boston and cooler than average. Overnight down to 70 degrees. Degrees, low clouds, again fog, and a few showers. Tomorrow's highs in the low 80s and some upper 70s farther inland. Even along the south coast, the Cape and the islands, you'll be right around 80 degrees. Dew points, not showing much relief here on our dew point tracker. 70 degree dew points for Tuesday morning. That's going to be the case for the afternoon, maybe into the low 60s, but still staying rather humid going into your Wednesday forecast. Wednesday, there is a chance for a cold front to move through, but that's not really going to break the humidity enough. That comes for Sunday again, so we have several days to go. Hour by hour, here's Tuesday night, and still we have that spin. This area of low pressure slowly pushes out to the Gulf of Maine. Then we'll start to see more breaks in the clouds. Isolated spot showers again for Wednesday, and we can't shake that pattern. We'll keep a slim chance for a shower or storm through the rest of the week, but drying out overall. Cape and Islands forecast tomorrow more clouds and some drizzle. Wednesday, 79 degrees, isolated shower, pop up storm chance on Thursday, but we get warmer with the low 80s, and it's going to stay humid again for the rest of the week, getting close to 90 degrees once we hit Friday. Chance for storms again. Saturday looking mostly dry, 87. A round of a few showers late Saturday, Sunday looking dry too, the high of 83.